Residents of Zamfara communities affected by lead poisoning in 2010 have expressed fears over a looming danger of another round of the pandemic. The residents allege that the recent partial and temporary evacuation of the international medical staff of the Medicine Sun Frontiers is causing a serious setback to them. The MSF, also known as Doctors Without Borders, has reduced its healthcare service in Anka and Zurumi local government areas of the state and relocated its medical staff to Talata Marafa local government area due to increased insecurity in the state. In this special report, Yusha Wadamu examines the situation. Although the suspension of MSF healthcare services was temporary, however, many residents in Anka and Bukwim local governments are expressing fears over impending dangers of lead poisoning outbreak. According to the residents, the partial withdrawal of healthcare services by the MSF is gradually confounding the situations since mining activities are being carried out in several villages in the two local governments. The residents, therefore, call on both federal and state governments to take urgent and proactive measures in order to avert reoccurrence of the 2010 lead poisoning pandemic in the state. During the 2010 lead poisoning pandemic, several women in the Bayega village have given birth to babies with de deformities such as blindness, paralysis, acute malnutrition, and learning disability, while adults have experienced poor vision and severe fever. We are afraid that with the recent evacuation of MSF staff from some facilities, there is possibility of an upsurge of lead poisoning in our communities. We therefore want the government to take urgent steps that will prevent the upsurge of the deadly disease. The dark memory of lead poisoning that started in 2008, which caused the death of many children in Zampara State, is still fresh in the memories of the affected residents. Lead poisoning started in these communities in 2008 when residents re resorted to illegal mining in their personal homes, not minding or ignorant of the dangers associated with mining. According to reports, the negative impact of the lead poisoning became more pronounced in Zampara between March and June 2010, after it claimed the lives of 163 people in the state, including 111 children. Despite the 2010 lead poisoning experience, currently there are about 20 local mining processing plants in, operating in Baigega village and 12 others in Abari in Anka local government and over 10 sites spread across Ergalma, Nasarawa and Bukuyum in Bukuyum local government area of the state. Mining is the only business that is bringing money to us. All our animals have been rustled we don't have anything at home. So this is the only source of incomes we have for now. I have been in this business for the first 15 years, but unfortunately, wherever we go for mining, the authorities are chasing us away. We want government to come to our aid by providing us with permanent sites where we can do mining. Residents of several communities in Anka, Bukuyum and Maru local governments are still in mining activities. This is happening 12 years after the MSF handed over its lead poisoning project to Zampara state government. According to some local miners, although they are aware of the hazards allied to mining, however, they cannot quit the business because it is a second source of incomes to many residents after farming. Ahmed Aliu, a resident of Maru, has been into local mining for 25 years, aware of the hazards associated to mining but we don't have any option than to go into it without any protection because we don't have access to the protection facilities and government is not providing us with them. Mining is our second source of incomes after farming. We have no any other source of incomes apart from this local mining. So with or without protection against its hazard, we have to do it to feed our families and any attempt to stop us from this menial job that could lead to more economic hardship on us. Following an increase in the activities of mining in some parts of the state, 
it was alleged that symptoms of diseases related to lead poisoning have started manifesting in some communities. Reports had it that cases of poor vision among local minors, children malnutrition, and cases of miscarriage among women have started manifesting in some communities in Anka local government. Cases of poor vision are being experienced, especially among the local miners. You know, we are blessed with huge mineral resources and our people are into mining and they are doing it without taking any preventive measures ag against any hazard. So this may fave way for the return of the popular disease we call Gubar Dalma if care is not taken. Although we are not medical experts, but based on our past experiences, we know that the symptoms that are manifesting on some individuals are similar to that of lead poisoning. However, in its efforts to control mining activities in the state, Zampara state government has banned traditional rulers from issuing consent letters for mining across the state. According to a statement issued by Governor's spokesperson, Suleiman Bala Idris, the state governor has signed an executive order in that respect. The banning, the statement added, affects issuing consent letters to individuals, companies, or organizations for mining activities in the state. The decision, the governor said, was taken as mining was identified to be among the major factors fueling banditry in the state. Yusha Adamu, Trust TV News, Gusau.